Good afternoon, everyone. Bonjour tout le monde. My name is Ekwender Gahir, and we are gathered here in Mississauga, Malton. Uh, before I begin, I'd like to acknowledge that we are gathered here today on the traditional and unceded treaty lands, which are the territory of the Mississaugas of the Credit. It's great to join you all today uh, and to have my incredible, incredible friends and colleagues, Minister Rechi Valdez, Minister Harjit Sajjan, Minister Kamal Kara here in Mississauga, Malton this morning. And a big thank you to the amazing staff and students here at Morningstar Middle School for welcoming us and hosting us today. I've been lucky enough to visit the school uh, and speak to the students here a few times already, and I can assure you that there is no better place uh, to celebrate some of Canada's best and brightest. Last month, our government released budget 2024, and it's our plan to make Canada fair for every generation. One where younger Canadians can get ahead, where families can find an affordable place to call home, and where seniors can age with dignity. Simply put, Budget 2024 is our plan to make sure Canadians of every generation can succeed. And part of this is knowing that we have set our children up for success. Our government knows not to underestimate the power of a nutritious meal to a child's growth. In fact, it's our firm belief that access to consistent and healthy meals is essential to creating a learning environment in which young students can thrive and grow. As the local member of parliament, it's exciting to be here in Mississauga Malton today to share how we're going to deliver generational fairness for our young Canadians. And to start off, I'd like to hand it over to my colleague and friend, Richie Valdez, the Minister of Small Business. Thank you, Ekwinder. Thank you, everyone, for joining. It's so good to be here um, with everyone. Bonjour tout le monde. Um, thank you so much, Ekwinder, for that, uh, for the land acknowledgement as well, and for that introduction. So great to be back here in Mississauga with my awesome friends and colleagues, Minister Harjit Sajjan, Minister Kamal Kara, and of course MP Ekwinder Kahir. Um, we're here to talk about supporting children across the country, and what better place to be able to make this announcement but right here in Morningstar Middle School. Thank you to the staff, the students, and of course the families. And I think we have a crew, a special crew behind us, Safety Six, is I believe what they, uh, what their, uh, what their name is. Um, and thank you to Principal Danusha Gunasingham for having us. A month ago, we released Budget 2024, our plan to create fairness for every generation. It's based on a simple idea that every child in Canada deserves the best possible start in life. And that means access to childcare, a good teaching environment like being in the school, but most importantly, nutritious food for our tummies. I have two kids, Kyla and Cassidy, and I know that just like every parent, I want my kids to, best, to have the best start in life and have the opportunities their parents had and our parents had. So our budget is going to help make that re a reality for families right across the country. Our new national school food program will provide healthy meals to 400,000 more students. I think the population of this school is about 475 students, so picture 400,000 kids across this country who will be fed. This is incredible news. The need for this $1 billion investment has never been more clear. We know that food prices continue to increase. Some Canadians are struggling to put food at the table for their families. And across Canada, everyone, uh, every, every one in three people rely on food banks. This shouldn't happen, and our budget is going to change that so that no child has to go to school hungry. We also need to make sure our children are taken care of, not just during school, but after class too. As a parent, uh, full-time working, I know both my kids needed the afternoon school programs, and that's why our budget is also proposing investments to support after-school learning to help our young students reach their full potential. After-school learning and supports play such an important role when it comes to mentorship and academic assistance. They play an important role in helping our students succeed, especially for at-risk students. Thank you all for joining, and now I'll pass it over to Minister Harjit Sajjan. Thank you, uh, Richie. Uh, good morning, everyone. It's great to be here at uh, Morningstar Middle School with my colleagues, and um, great to see the students and also the educators uh, here today. 
Now, um, it's always great to talk about how uh, we need to support families, and today we're here to talk about, as uh, Mr. Uh, Richie Bell has already said, the billion dollar investment in Canada's first uh, national food program. Now, I grew up on the other side of the country in, uh, in Vancouver, uh, in my riding of Vancouver South, and my classmates, um, you know, we came from different backgrounds, but we were prim primarily from uh, middle class families. So I've seen firsthand uh, the impact uh, that nutrition actually has on, uh, on education and the importance of a safe place to, uh, to go during the day to get a healthy, nutritious lunch. It's, it's not lost on me because I've also seen when kids don't get the nutritious uh, meals. Uh, too many kids go uh, hungry um, in our country uh, and they stay hungry and uh, this is not right and it's especially not fair. Now groceries uh, can get ex expensive uh, the, uh, these days and for some parents sending their kids to school with a full lunch box sometimes it isn't an option and that's not right. That's why uh, this investment is so important because kids deserve a fair chance to succeed. And I'll talk about uh, that a little bit afterwards. Young families these days deserve the same chance of success as the previous generations and we want to create fairness for every generation to want to make them feel that they too uh, can succeed and have the same benefits. So the national program will immediately uh, help almost 400,000 uh, students uh, in this first year as uh, Mr. Bell has already uh, outlined. And we'll keep working to formalize uh, these agreements to ensure that all Canadian kids have access to this program. So I want to pause and take a moment also to thank the teachers and the school volunteers across Canada who often bring you know, food uh, to school to making sure that they fill this, uh, this gap. And I want to say thank you for the, for the teachers who have done this for, for so many years. I've spoken to teachers in my own writing um, uh, uh, who brought, brought food uh, to class and you know, looking at even uh, kids' programs. I remember back, uh, uh, in the, there's a, a cadet program that's across uh, the country and the cadet program where kids kind of come to school realized that some of the kids were uh, not getting enough food. So that we're actually at nighttime bring food and kind of give it uh, to the kids so they can get that meal. Because some of the kids were, you know, very proud not to tell them the, some of the challenges that, that they were having at home. And uh, so I just want to say thank you to all the teachers and administrators who, you know, filled that gap. But this is Canada and we need to do better and we will uh, do better. So we are committed to ensuring that no child in Canada goes hungry at school. The National Food Pro School Food Pro Program will help kids at schools and create a better outcome for our future. We know that children learn better on a full stomach. The research has shown that. And this National School Program will make sure that every kid has the opportunity to learn, grow and reach their full potential. Over to you. Thank you. Um, and let me just say, and you know, as my colleagues just mentioned, um, one month ago, our federal government put forward a federal budget. And this federal budget, you heard a couple of things that my colleagues talked about, particularly one of the things that we're highlighting here today, is the $1 billion that our government has put forward for the first ever national school food program. This program that is going to help more than 400,000 children ensure that they are fed. We know. Hungry kids are not going to get the best education that they need. You know when kids are fed, they are fully, fully make, are going to make sure that they are ready to be educated, they're ready to take over uh, this world. And when you talk about the work that our government has been doing since, uh, you know, as, as Minister Reggie talked about, from early learning and childcare, the investments that we're making, that we're creating these uh, spaces, the work that's happening with after school programs, all these things are actually helping Canadians and Canadian families as we speak. And you know, when we talk about this budget, and I know Ikwinder um, alluded to this, this budget really is about the promise that fundamentally defines our country. You know, the promise of fairness, the promise that in Canada, that everyone should have an equal opportunity to succeed. Not just do it as well as your parents, actually do that even better than our previous generation. But we also know as a country, we are facing some big challenges, and that's why in this particular budget, we have put forward measures and policies in place to support Canadians. This budget is a comprehensive plan that our government has put forward to make life fairer for all generations of Canadians, but particularly the young generation. And I think one of the things I recognize is, you know, when you talk to particularly young people like we just did today, it just goes to show their optimism, 
their leadership and the work that they want to do to make sure that they're doing better than the previous generation is what this budget is all about. So with that, once again, I want to say thank you to all of you, uh, but particularly I want to thank uh, Morningstar Middle School uh, for your leadership, for hosting us today, uh, but for me personally, for taking me down the memory lane today. Thank you so much. And with that, allow me to also uh, welcome uh, a leader in this community, um, and of course that is the principal of this school, uh, Ms. Gunasingam. <laughs>